Okay, Emma, the feeling right now. It's so strange. I really, I can't articulate it. I guess emotional overall, um, but you know, there's a real sense of. I'm really excited about you know the next chapter of my life starting, but then obviously you know I feel really sad and kind of nostalgic about all of this coming to an end. And um, it's been such a huge part of my life. It's kind of it's almost scary to try and to, to you know to to acknowledge that there's going to be so much change. But um, it's yeah, it's exciting too. I, I don't know. I'm all over. I <laughs> I can't even say the right thing. But yeah. You were such a little girl when this started, mm. and we've watched you grow up just as we've grown up with you. Do you think that your character helped become, m make you who you are today? I mean, did it? Did she play? Yeah, I was. I was thinking about that the other day, trying to figure out how much of me went into her, or how much of her went into me. The the lines really blur, but I, I know one thing for sure that through playing her, it definitely made me. She's so incredible. She's such an incredible person that you you can't help but if you're you know if you're in that you're in that body for you know eight or nine hours a day that um, I'm positive that it pushed me to stretch myself and push myself more and and make myself a better person. I'm positive. Well, I did hear though at your audition when you were what, I guess ten nine yeah um, that. You were so much like Hermione. You were kind of walking around and talking to yourself and kind of making yourself angry. You're just yeah. so. So you were already a little bit of her. Oh, I a hundred percent was. I was. You know, I had that same like very eager to please, eager to do well. Um, I, I had that same kind of. Um, and that same kind of bossiness, that same kind of attitude towards boys. I think that she had as well. Um, I mean, we we had we had and still do have a lot in common. Absolutely. Of course, part two. Uh, my, the word I'm using is satisfying. I just yes, yes. It it really. I think that's the perfect word. Like it's incredibly satisfying to watch as a movie, and I hope for an audience member, but obviously particularly for me, <laughs> just because it. I think it just it just wraps up so beautifully everything. It it really feels complete. It feels really, it just feels really good. It's interesting because you say you don't want to give too much away. This is one of the rare instances where you can read the book, you can know everything that happens, and it doesn't matter. It's, I completely agree with you. It's so funny that you say that. It's, um, it took me by surprise, and I m made the film. I was a part of me. I was the part of the process of making it, and I. It really took me back. It's and you know, there's so much that happens in the book. It's it's almost impossible to remember all those plot points, and um, it doesn't. You know, having read the book doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that it's it's. You really feel like you don't know what's going to come next, and I think that's the beauty and the genius of, of David Yates. You really, there's nothing predictable about it at all. He's so soft spoken. I know. Is he like He's the most gentle man. He's so kind. He never, in the whole time of making the last, hmm. you know, f he made four Harry Potter movies and I've never heard him raise his voice once. He's absolutely incredible. And the amount of stress and pressure and, I mean, I just don't even know how he, how he, how he conceptualized and had all of this in his head. I mean, we were making, trying to make two movies at once and, He's just amazing. He's an amazing, amazing man. And of course, part two is war. I mean, mm. this is, this is really it. Yeah, I mean, there's a. Re it's. It feels very apo apocalyptic. It's really. I almost the word epic doesn't quite seem to do it justice. It's Bigger. like epic times four. It's, it's like, I just, as, as as I said, just was so blown away by it as a movie and, um, and although. And I was nervous about this, although it's in 3D and it's kind of like there are all these big battle scenes and it's a big fight and everything. It doesn't feel, it still has so much heart and so much drama and so much emotional intensity and realness and truth in it that it's, you know, you never, there's never a minute where you're like, you know, 
where you don't feel really involved and um, it's just yeah it's because of the characters if yes we did, I mean it's this is character driven yes it is it, that's completely true there's no as you say all of the battles are completely character driven there's no there's no excess there's no just like oh wouldn't it be cool to throw in you know this kind of fights you know this kind of epic wand battle thing here or let's just put an explosion there there's nothing that doesn't need to be there but it's still the scale of it is so beautiful and it just will really take people's breath away it as a movie people that I have been speaking about who've seen it just say that it just was just stunned by it just yeah just kind of like wow but of course there are there moments where you go Oh, kind of like yeah, the kiss. Exactly. There's these nice. There are these nice. There are a few nice pauses that you get in it because the pace is pretty relentless. I mean, it's from the minute you sit down right through until the end, you really barely have time to catch your breath. But the kiss with Ron and Hermione is just this wonderful break in all the chaos and the fear and sadness and you know all of that going on. They just have a moment where that's all that really matters is the two of them, and you know they could die any moment. And I think they both just feel like it in that moment that if they don't tell each other how they feel about one another, then you know it's um, they have to. They, it's it's completely organic. It's completely natural, and they have this kind of like. Rupert and I put in this kind of like nice laugh that they had because it almost seems so ridiculous that it hasn't happened sooner. The minute it happens, it feels so right that it's almost like, why didn't we do this years ago? We are so silly. However, yes. In reality, though, it wasn't that easy kissing like your brother. In reality, <laughs> it was not. In reality, that was definitely. I mean, it was definitely awkward. Um, Rupert, you know, yeah, he's been like a brother to me. We've grown up together. We have so much history. And also, you know, we had the added pressure of, you know, I think we had like three EPK crews on the day who wanted to get behind the scene coverage. And we had all the crew who wanted to come and watch. And we knew that we knew the media would want to know about it. And we knew that audiences would be like, when's the kiss going to happen? They know it's coming. It's so anticipated. And we're like, oh, how are we going to live up to this and, and pull this off? He still blushes. I mean, when I asked about it, he just he? turned so red in his little cheeks. Aww. <laughs> That's so sweet. No, he's, you know, Rupert isn't, he's, he's shy. He can be shy. And it's, it's, uh, he doesn't say much. So I think there was that added thing for me, which is that I just didn't know what he was thinking. With Dan, you always know what he's thinking. But with Rupert, not so much. So, um, yeah. You become this fashion plate. I mean, seriously, just, you are stunning and... Mm. Are you glad, though, to put that bag away? That yes. thing you had to carry? Oh, no, that hideous bag. <laughs> no, I mean, in real life, I mean, it'd be very useful. But, no, I mean, it's nice. I mean, there's a comfort in in playing Hermione and not having to worry or think about, you know, any of that, any of that stuff. Um, definitely, there's a freedom in it. Um, but you know, it's 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 fun. I get to have I get to have best of both, so I'm happy. <laughs> okay, what what's next? I mean, we everyone's going to be watching you. I mean, the, I mean, <laughs> you're kind of under a telescope still. I know. Well, I'm I'm really I'm really excited. Having seen this movie, I'm really excited about what I'm going to go and do next. I I just finished a movie called The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And I did, um, which is a small independent movie. It's a love story. It's about a group of friends in their last year of high school. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Just finished that. I did a movie called My Week with Marilyn. I'm going back to school in the fall um, to study English for a year, and then I'll go back to the States and do my last year there. So I'm still studying, which is, which is great. And then I'm just reading like crazy. I just, I just want to, I just desperately want to find the next thing that, really feels true to me and that I that that it's just I'm so inspired by this film and how great I, f I feel so good about it that I just I'm really excited to go and, and put everything that I've learned into into practice into something into something else hopefully that's that's great 
it's have really you, motivated me. Have you watched the first one lately? I mean, have you seen your? I mean, <laughs> no, I have. I really haven't. I. In a way, it's easier to watch that very first one because it almost feels like I'm watching another person. Like I can't, I, I can't even identify with that girl. She feels almost foreign to me. It's like so much has happened. I know she's me, but I can't. It's almost easier to watch because I just feel so disconnected in a way. It's interesting. So much. It's like twelve years. I'm, you know. So you've, you've grown up so nicely. I mean, oh, I know you're probably so sick you. of hearing that, but no, it's just, it's, thank you. It's, so we nice did too. To you were our constant thank in a crazy you. decade. It was a crazy decade. It's funny. I mean, you mentioned that first film. I remember that when we first came to America to promote the first movie, it was just after 9-11. And I remember Chris Columbus making this speech that Harry Potter had come about just at the right time when people needed to escape and believe in magic and something greater and um, it was really inspiring and um, it, it's, it's really nice for me to think that these movies have been a constant and that they really have meant something to people. Um, it's really nice. Well done. Oh, thank you. To say something to the troops all over the world about yes. this. Yes, oh, I'd love to. Oh gosh, well, what can I say? Uh, you guys are amazing. Um, I am so happy that I'm so proud that my this movie that I'm in is being sent is sent to you, and I really hope that you enjoy the final chapter of our series. And this, um, I'm really proud of proud of the work, and it's uh, it's fun. It's a roller coaster ride, and um, I just hope you enjoy it wherever you are.